this is Joshua blessed, the man of Yahweh. I am a man of Yahweh because the Spirit of Yahweh is upon me. Many years ago, I have personal encounter with the devil, but only now, Spirit of Yahweh, let me make this testimony and publish to the world. Before I will do this testimony, I want to be sure that people of devil will not twist my testimony. I want to say openly to the world, I do not hate Muslim. I love my brothers Muslim because they are godly people and none of you pagan, Christian, Hindu, atheist whatsoever can even compare to the godliness of the Muslim. There is no gay and lesbian, abominable sodomites among Muslim. There is no divorce, remarriage, wife, love and submit and obey their husband. This is the people of Bible. This is people that Yahweh shall open their eyes and deliver them from the power of devil. They are deceived. I want to be sure that nobody twists my testimony. And I want to be sure that all of you understand the devil is the god of this world. He is the after of all religion. Christian, Hindu, Muslim, Judaism, atheist, whatever available. This is from devil. Devil made all this religion because he hate all humanity. And in order to kill us, it's very easy to make religion because religion bring division, hatred, and murder. Nobody kill so much people as religious people. So I say to you today openly, in heaven there is no Christian, Hindu, Muslim, Jew, or atheist, but only the people of Yahweh. Therefore, love your brother and pray and fast for your brother. Let Yahweh open their eyes that may they see that Yahweh is life. Yahweh is our Heavenly Father and there is no one beside Him. Blessed be Yahweh. Let Yahweh help me to bear witness to the world what I receive from heaven. To the glory of Yahweh. And let all flesh come to Him because He is the power of salvation. He is the power of your repentance. He is the power to live a godly life. He is the life Himself. He is the breath of life. He is the Father of all flesh. Blessed be Yahweh. Amen and Amen. It is almost impossible to bear witness on this earth what you have encountered, what you have heard, and what you have saw in a spiritual world. Because the spiritual world is so huge, is so large, the knowledge of the spiritual, the spiritual world is so overwhelming that if you read Bible, you will understand that those people who have encountered with the spiritual beings or have been in heaven or in hell, uh, they have a hard time to describe what they saw and what they have heard. This is why those people using comparison, saying it looks like, it smells like, uh, I think so, I believe so, because there is nothing in the earth that you can describe. So also, what I have received from heaven and my experience is so large and huge and awesome that I'm not able to describe, but I will do my best with the help of Yahweh to share with the world what I have saw. One year I used to work for a private company and one of our employees being a Muslim. He was a good, devout Muslim, pray on a job site and everyone respected him. He never spoke bad words, he never smoked 
and we have some time discussion uh, between uh, myself and him about Bible and Quran and one day he came to my room and presented a Quran and he said to me it is for you and he left so I took this Quran and put on the table desk and I was marvel of this book because I never saw such expensive and well made book it was golden edge and when I opened it was very every page was a golden age edge and it was very made well on the top it was written in Arabic and on the bottom portion in English so I put this Quran on a desktop and I asked Yahweh Yahweh help me to see and understand this book and as soon as I opened my eyes the angel of Yahweh descended and stood on the left side and the fallen angel demons stood on the right side and the angel of Yahweh said to me do not read this book but fallen angel said no let him read it then again the angel of Yahweh said I say to you do not read this book but fallen angel said no let him read it and then they began fighting and it, it was very scary as they fighting behind me with a sword I was so afraid that one of them would slay me so I left the book on the table and ran out door and my flesh trembling I was so scared afraid uh, and it, it took probably several hours before everything would cool down I came to myself and my flesh is trembling from this terrible experience so after several hours I come back to my office and I put this Quran again on a top desk and I said Yahweh what's wrong with this book I do not understand help me to see it and understand it although the angel of Yahweh rebuked me and said that I should not read this book but my desire overcame me my desire to look and read this book overcame me and the spirit of Yahweh know this and saw this and as soon as I opened first page the spirit of Yahweh is fell upon me and I received instantly knowledge and revelation about the book of Quran uh, this knowledge and revelation is so huge and so awesome and so overwhelming that this is impossible in few words describe what I have received it this is why when you read a Bible and you have uh, those uh, write writings from any of men who saw angel or be in heaven or in hell or have any experience in heaven uh, it is impossible to describe what you saw and what you heard this is why those people using comparison they say it looks like and sound like uh, I can compare this to because there is nothing on earth like this what we have in heaven so I will do my best to describe as much as I can you have to understand that in the spiritual world everyone know the truth angels demons even those who die they enter in the spiritual world they know the truth and truth is there is only one in heaven and his name is Yahweh there is no Elohim or there is no God beside him Yahweh is one there is not three four six or ten only Yahweh he is a king of heaven and no one beside him however 2000 years ago Yahweh descended and Yahweh took mankind flesh and became man and dwelt among us this is why when you read the book of Enoch the Enoch call him son of man son of man son of man this is why Messiah Yahshua he is Yahweh in the flesh he also refer himself as son of man son of man read the Bible and you will see this because it was first revealed to Enoch the mystery of the kingdom of heaven all this mystery 
is well known in the spiritual world, but here on earth many people deceive by devil. So devil know this and this is why uh, in the first page of the Quran it is written, God forbid that God should have a son. And this is true. Yahweh have never wife, Yahweh have never sex, nor he has ever children. Yahweh is the king of heaven. He is a spirit. And devil know this and he twisted as he also twisted in the book of Genesis when he tempted Eve, he said very subtly to the Eve, does Yahweh forbid you to eat from any tree of the garden? You see, he not lied to Eve, he just twisted, he just tricked. And this is what he doing in the book of Quran. He speak the truth that Yahweh is one and God forbid that Yahweh should have a sex, wife or children because there is no one beside him. And as he twisted, he make people to doubt. If this is true, how can a man be Yahweh? How can a man be Yahweh? How can a Yahweh descended from heaven he become a flesh? This is how devil twist, twisted the scripture and make a new religion called Islam. This is should be known to all flesh. As I said before, the devil hate all people, all humanity. And this is why he create all this worldly religion that we should hate one another and kill one another. The best tool to kill one another is religion. Because religion is bring division, hatred and murder. So the devil know this and bring this book to Muhammad. If you will look on YouTube, some people saw Muhammad in hell. This is nothing new because we, we know that he is a follower of devil. Do I hate Muslim? God forbid. I love Muslim. And I wept and I pray for them that may Yahweh deliver them from the deceit, this, uh, deceitfulness of the Quran. For this is the book of devil. Then when I received this new, uh, revelation from heaven that Quran is the book of devil and devil twisted this I pray in the spirit, I pray in the tongues, I pray in the spirit and when I opened my eyes I was really shake and I was really amazing because I saw devil stood in the front of me and he drove very near and he looked in my eyes and we saw one another eyes like this and we look in one another eyes uh, it is undescribable and very dreadful creature. If uh, any of you open your foolish mouth and speak against heaven, hell, against devil or demons or angel, you are a very foolish person. You speak against spiritual beings. You do not even understood how this spiritual beings is powerful. Are I warning you today never open your foolish mouth and uh, mouth and never speak against devil or demons because he will send his demons and they shall destroy you this is how powerful this devil you rather be as a godly man and you should say get the behind me Satan or let Yahweh rebuke you devil but you never curse him you never mug him to your own perdition this is how powerful this spiritual beings is. Consider this. He is the God of this world. He is the God of fashion. If you live fashionly, you worship him. Do not be afraid of this 666. You already worship devil. If you worship devil, you worship devil because you live fashionly. Fashion is what people do in this world. Devil is the god of fashion. You already worshiper of devil. Do not be afraid of 666. You will be in hell anyway because you already worship devil. Okay? I'm just let you know. Do not be afraid of 666. This number. You already be in hell.
because you are a fool, you worship devil. This is how powerful this creature is. When I encountered with him, I was really scared. Although I was filled with the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit was upon me, I was really scared of devil because he is a very powerful creature. And when I look in his eye and he look in my eye, he not said to me even one word. But when we look in one another eye, I was very scared of his eyes. His eyes is very evil. The human pupil, we have a pupil right here and a human eye, but devil do not have it. His pupil completely black. And this is why the Messiah says, the light of the body is your eye. If your eye is full of light, your whole body shall be full of light. But when I look in his eye, his eye is full of darkness. He is very dreadful and scary creature. His hatred is indescribable. When I look in his eye and he look in my eye, it's, I was really afraid of him. Because it looks like he was ready to tear me in pieces and kill me. This is how terrible and scary this creature. He has pale green skin like a human, but not white or black, but pale green skin. But above this, uh, this is a very dreadful creature. And I can say to you one thing, if you are not born again by the Spirit of Yahweh, you cannot resist, you cannot overcome. This is a very strong and powerful spiritual creature. You only can resist him by the Spirit of Yahweh. This is why this world worship him, because most people not born again. Most people do not have the Spirit of Yahweh, and only the Spirit of Yahweh is stronger than the Spirit of Devil. Therefore, only those who born from above of Yahweh have a power to resist, to overcome devil and his demons. This is have to be known to all flesh. You must be born again from above by Yahweh. You must be filled with the spirit of Yahweh. There is no other way to overcome and resist devil. This is how powerful and dreadful this creature. If you have not born again, you will be in hell because you cannot resist. You cannot defeat, you cannot overcome devil. I shared to the world that this is very powerful and dreadful creature. When I saw him, I was very scared and afraid of him. And only by the spirit of Yahweh, I can resist and I can overcome him. This is why Messiah descended from heaven, not to give to us book. Yahweh descended from heaven to give to us his Holy Spirit. Remember, Yahweh descended from heaven not to make a new religion, Christianity or Islam or Judaism. Yahweh descended from heaven only with one purpose, give to all of us his Holy Spirit. None of us, none of us can resist devil. None of us can live godly life, but only by the spirit of Yahweh. This is why you must be born from above by Yahweh. When you born again from above by Yahweh, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. The Holy Spirit shall dwell within you and you will have a power to live a holy, righteous life. You shall hate sin and you shall live holy, righteous life. And then when you live holy and righteous life, you shall have a power to overcome devil. You shall speak your word with authority and devil shall obey you and he shall flee from you. But you never curse him. You never mock him. You always says, say as a man of Yahweh, God rebuke you devil, Yahweh rebuke you devil, get thee behind me Satan, and he shall obey you. Why? Because you live holy, righteous life, and Holy Spirit is within you. This is why he will obey you, because you live holy and righteous life, and Spirit of Yahweh is upon you. I speak to you as men of Yahweh. You must understand, without holiness, Without righteousness, none of us can overcome devil, and none of us shall see heaven. He who have a hear to hear, let him hear. Amen.